Hello everyone. Now we will discuss our second conditional statement that is case. We already started if. Now we will discuss case. It is a conditional statement. Yes, it is also a conditional statement. Now how we will go for how we will go for case. This is the syntax of the case statement. We can provide the conditions using when. Suppose this is our first condition. If this condition is true, these blocks of statement will execute. If this condition is true, this statement of this block of statements will execute. Now, just recall in case of if, if you are none of the condition is true, the system will go to else part here system will go to which part others part so just in case of case we have others it is equal to else part of if statement in case of if if you are none of the condition is true system will go to else part in case of case if you are none of the condition is true system will go to others part and this is mentioned in the theory also and at a time yes one statement of one block of statement will execute depends upon whatever the condition is true now we will go for the system we will learn the example of case statement then we will compare if with case so I will go to SC38 transaction code and we will give some program name. Suppose this is the program name. This is a program name for conditional statement case. I will click on to create button. I will give some title to the program to under stand the conditional statement case. So we will understand the conditional statement case. I will choose the type as executable because we want to execute the program. I will save it as a local object. In every executable program, the first word is report. First keyword is report, which signifies that we have an executable program. Now we will declare first data object. We will declare a data object. The keyword is data tab. I will give some name to the data object. Suppose I am saying lb underscore input length is 2. I will use the keyword type. It is of numeric type and I will give a default value using value keyword. Suppose value is 1 and I ended the statement using dot. At least for the few 15-20 videos, we will put stress on each and every word so that you will become familiar with each and everything. So this is our data object, named data object, and it is a variable. Under the named data object, it is a variable. This is numeric literal. This is numeric literal. Unnamed data object, and it is numeric literal. Now, we will go for case statement. I will write case. It is a keyword. So now when I, when I will put tab, you can see everything came automatically. In case of if, if statement ended with end if, every case statement ends with end case. And you can see we have a symbol also, which clearly signifies that it is the start and it is the end. Now I will write case. LV underscore input. Now we will see if LV underscore input is one, it means it is our first condition. We will print some result, right? 
I will use chain operator because I will combine the statements. The output is comma LV underscore input. And I will end this statement using dot. You all know this is character literal, character literal, unnamed data object. And this is character literal. Now I will go for second condition. And I will copy. If LV underscore input is two, it will print this result. I will go for one more condition, suppose. When, when is a keyword, so I put tab, when three. Now I will go for one more right condition. If none of the condition is true, system will go to others part. In case of if, if your none of the condition is true, system goes to your else part. Here system will go to what part? Others part. And we will go for right, right. We will go for wrong input. And wrong input is a character literal. It is a sequence of characters. Now I will save. Please, please apply that printer so that your code will be properly formatted. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the program. Now sequence of flow is very important to understand because it will make a base for our next topic. What is the comparison of if and case? Firstly, our value is one. It will check value is one. Yes, value is one. This particular statement will execute. Now I will run the program. You can see this is the result. Now I will change the value to two. I will activate the program. Now see, it will come to case statement. Now it will not go to when one, it will directly jump to 12 number line. Just compare it to if, in case of if, it went all the conditions one by one till it found a true condition. Here it is not the case. Just see, we have the input is two. We have the input is two. So system will not even go for this when one. System will directly, directly jump to when two. If I'll show you the result, you can see this is the output. Now, I'm changing the value to three. I will activate the program. Now, it will not check this. It will not check this. Means system will not execute. System will not even come to these statements. System will directly, directly jump to this particular statement. Just see how it is working. In case of if it went to this, it went to this, then it will come to this. But in case of case, it directly, directly jumped to this particular condition. If I will go for this result, this is our result. Now I will go for the input is four. I will exit, I will activate the program. Now, your none of the condition is matching. So it is not the case that it will go to individual conditions and match. No, it will directly, directly jump to the other's condition. In case of if it went for all the conditions one by one, then it will come to other's part here. It is not the case. It will directly, directly jump to the other spot. And this is our output. And this is our output. Now, I will show you it in the debugging mode so that you can understand fully how it is working. See, I am putting a breakpoint. If you are not aware about debugging, you can learn from the debugging playlist. Suppose I'm putting a breakpoint here on this case statement. I'm running the program. You can see as of now, our input is four. Our input is four. So it is not the case. It will go to this. It will go to this. It will go to this. 
system will directly directly come to on to others part suppose if i will simply simply do f6 those who know debugging they know f6 is line by line execution if i will do f6 you can see directly directly i came on to this 17th number line 17th system has not even gone to other statements so this is the main main benefit of case statement now you can see this is the result now if i will show you the similar type of execution in if statement then you will understand fully now suppose if i will go to if statement if i will go for if statement program now same to same program is there i will put a breakpoint here i am running those who know debugging they know desktop 3 is more preferable most preferable now i system will not directly come on to else part just see how it will work i am coming i am doing f6 you can see control came to 12th number line this condition false so control came to second if condition control came on to third if condition now none of the condition is true now system go on to the else part so this is the major major ban major major difference between the if and the case statement so in case of if system is going for all the conditions one by one till we get a true condition system is going for checking the conditions one by one till we get a true condition but in case of case system is directly directly moving to the true condition so this in case of case we are directly going to the true condition so just think which one is performance effective case is always always performance effective as compared to if i will show you one more example so that you can understand fully suppose i am going for now suppose i am putting the value is 3 i will go for if program then i will compare it to case suppose i am running the program now your input is 3 it will check first is 3 is equal to 1 no 3 is not equal to 1 so system is going to second condition is 3 is equal to 2 no now system will go to third if condition is 3 is equal to 3 yes now it will execute this particular statement of code so in case of if it is going condition by condition till it will get a true condition now system will not go to another another condition because it got that true condition so this is our result now if i will compare it to our case program mm. so this is how you will understand fully now we will change the input to 3 suppose i am activating the program i am running the program now your input is 3 now system will not go to this system will not go to this system will directly directly come to this just see how the cursor position will change currently i am on this line i am doing f6 now you can see i directly jump on to third condition directly and this code of this block of code will execute so this is the major difference between a case and a if statement if i will read the theory part you will understand fully but is the difference between case and if if you have multiple if conditions if you have multiple if conditions if check all the conditions until you get a true condition in case of if it will check all the conditions until you get a true condition but in case of case it directly goes to the true condition it directly goes so case is always always performance effective as compared to if so in the projects also if you have so many conditions you which you want to check 
always prefer case as compared to if. If you have two to three conditions, then in that case, if and case will give the same to same performance. But if you have multiple conditions, if you have so many conditions, then in that case, do not prefer if, because if will go for all the conditions till it get a true condition. But in case, will directly jump to that true condition. So what we learned in this particular video, we did the practical part of case statement. And after that, we covered what is the difference between case and if. Case is always, always performance effective as compared to if statement. That's it in this video. Thank you.